Hey guys, James again for TFP TV. As many of you know, I have a love-hate relationship with 1911s in that I love them, but I also hate them. Uh, what do I mean? I mean, I love 1911s because they're timeless, a timeless design. You can accessorize them and tune them to make them into whatever you want. But at the same time, I hate them because I also feel like they're outdated and you have to spend a ton of money to get one that's reliable. That said, I'll never turn down an opportunity to review a top end 1911. And that's what I have today. This is the new Springfield TRP operator. So the TRP operator's been out for a while, but Springfield's done a good job of refreshing it every year, adding different features, enhancing it, while keeping the price point about the same. And brace yourselves, guys, because this one is $1,400 to $1,500 street price. So it's expensive, but you get a lot of flash for your cash with this thing. But real quick, let me tell you guys about the upgrades to the TRP operator for 2017. As my boy Tom Gomez from TFB said when he covered this at SHOT, gray is the new black. You can see two-tone frame. This is one of the better looking, if not the best looking 1911 I've ever seen. And they also added adjustable night sights on the TRP operator. The sights are textured to give them low glare. They have three dot Trigicon tritium night sight inserts. And you also have these very aggressive diamond G10 grips that complete the look. Now the TRP operator is the closest you can get to the Springfield Professional, the custom shop gun used by FBI, HRT, and whatever else government agency needs a top-end 1911. This is the closest you can get just off the rack. It's got front and rear slide serrations, a stainless steel match barrel, and a single piece guide rod, ambidextrous safety, a four and a half to five pound match trigger. I'll get out my trigger scale in a moment to see if that's accurate. Skeletonized hammer and trigger. Very, very grippy front and rear back strap checkering. A three rail Picatinny rail dust cover. And for you guys who are into that sort of thing, they make a dust cover that goes the full length of the slide. It comes in a very nice, almost like a Pelican case. It's got a great beveled magwell making insertion of the mags very easy. But curiously, it comes with two seven round mags, not eight round mags. I find that interesting, especially given the beveled magwell adding a little bit to the grip length, why you wouldn't just put eight round mags in here. But that said, I mean, you know, if you're buying a 14 or $1,500 gun, that doesn't bother you. And I want you guys to know I am going to run the absolute piss out of this thing today. I've got a few boxes of arms core, compliments of our sponsor Ventura Munitions. Thanks guys. And I've got a couple boxes of Wolf. And you know, it's a nice day today and I think the Springfield TRP operator may want to take a dip in the creek. So maybe we'll save that for the end. Anyways, let's see how it runs. God damn it. Well, I'm glad these sights are adjustable because out of the box, they were way off. Look at that. Center mass. See that? Right by the other one I just shot. Very high into the left. Bad for a couple of 12 inch targets. Changing mags from my tactical short waistband. Elastic helps with the tactical retention. It gives you a lot of modularity. Look at that. One right here, one right here, one right here. Boom. Just like that. All right, so first impressions it's running pretty well, it's reliable. Better be for 1400 bucks. It's accurate. 
once we've got the sights sighted in correctly. I'll tell you, if you guys are looking for like a tournament match trigger, you're not gonna get it with the TRP operator. Right at about five and a half pounds. Which is lighter than what you're probably gonna find on you know, the striker fired gun, like a Glock, what have you. But, you know, again, this isn't made for tournament shooters per se. Uh, this is the TRP operator. This is a gun meant for duty, so it's not gonna have a hair trigger, which makes sense. God, not bad. So guys, I mean, I don't know what there is to say. Anytime I get like an expensive gun like this, you know, when you're talking about a $1,500 pistol, the only news you can deliver is bad news. Uh, like you get an expensive gun and it performs poorly, like you expect it to perform well. That if you get a $1,500 gun, it better perform well. So it isn't like I can tell you guys, oh man, this, this gun's fantastic, because you're thinking to yourselves, right, it, it better be, right? For 14, 1500 bucks, it better be. Well, the good news is the Springfield TRP operator is fantastic. I was a little pissed that if I would have paid 14 or 1500 dollars for this gun, that I would have had to adjust the sights after I got it. I would have hoped that would have been done for me at the factory, but once the sights were on, the gun was on. I've been shooting this thing between 35 and 50 feet all day at 12 inch plates, and you guys saw, just absolutely been smoking them. This gun is everything it's cracked up to be. I mean, you look at this gun and you see where your money went though. The very aggressive checkering on the front and rear back strap, the excellent G10 grips, great trigger, skeletonized trigger, skeletonized hammer. It's got the National Match forged frame with the, uh, you've got the Picatinny rail on the dust cover, Trigicon adjustable tritium night sights. So yeah, it's expensive, but yeah, you're getting what you pay for with the operator. What's my favorite feature about this gun? I like the gray. I like the gray. I think yes, gray is the new black. I think it looks cool. I love the two-tone. It's the armor coat, so it'll resist rust, dents, dings, whatever. Springfield, great work with this TRP Operator 45. I wanna say thank you to you guys for watching. Thank you to Ventura Munitions, our sponsor, and thank you to ProxyBid. If you guys wanna track down actual real live estate auctions and bid on guns there, proxy bid. Thanks again, y'all. Subscribe. See you next week. <sighs> this feels criminal. Right. I'm not okay with this. If Jock was here right now, he'd shoot me before I did this. It's a big 1911 guy. Springfield sent this gun to me to evaluate, and the TRP operator they say it can operate in adverse conditions, so we'll toss it in the creek. God help us. Ah. All right. Oh. Holy moly. All right, as you guys can see, this thing's pretty filthy. There goes nothing. Not bad, Springfield. If you're gonna pay 1,500 bucks, you can throw your gun into a creek and it'll, it'll still work. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you to our sponsors, ProxyBid, Ventura Munitions. Thank you to you guys, the subscribers. I will see you next week.